do a video on the new stuff you get for the secret items and stuff like that so we are here to show you what they are uh, the first one we're gonna show you how to get is mr. stitchy probably one of the creepiest skins in the entire game just look at him and there's also a new trap that came along with this update which is the graveyard tombstone trap and I believe this spawns in like a zombie piggy if someone goes near near it so it's pretty OP uh, all right, we're I'm joined by my brother Lucas like usual uh, My friend Corin, he's always here and Mason, which is this is his first video. Wait, are you starting off with Mr. Stitchy? Yeah, we're gonna do Mr. Stitchy first. Okay, step one for Mr. Stitchy. This doesn't have to be a private server. You can pick any mode, doesn't matter. We're just gonna choose bot for now. For but Mr. You have Stitchy, to you need to, you have to choose the Yeah, you now. must choose yeah, so. chapter four forest. And this is pretty complex, and you have to beat it along with that, so. Yeah. So you gotta not die. But once someone completes it in the server, everyone gets it. Alright. This is the chapter one. Also, another, another thing is, once you get the torch... You do not want to use right. it. Do not so, use the torch. Um, Alright, so the first step the is to find these candles that are scattered around the map. I will just quickly showcase where all five of them are located. I won't grab them because... Because Lucas isn't me. Alright. My goal There's is one literally... candle right there. This is the... I'll just say the cabin that's right across from the red key cabin. Okay, so apparently I died to also, fall damage for jumping. If oh. you have more than one team member, if you have more than one team member, let one of them just distract you the entire time. Yes. Uh, did and anyone get plank? Did you get plank? Yeah, I put plank down. Oh, Yellow key's right there. And also, you don't want to be dumb like me and jump. I have, blue, I have blue team. Where does that go? Oh, my God. Ah, doggy. All right, your second candle location is literally up in the watchtower hidden behind this table. So just be aware of that. And then you also want to complete the map. Yes. So, Kane, you should probably grab yeah. yellow key so then you can get the wrench. Uh, Mason, use blue key right there. I found the torch. I'm not going to do anything. No, with pick, it. pick the torch up. So, no. So like, I'm not going to. It's at the cave. It's at the cave. Oh, and the hammer's at the cave. Yeah. All right, I got wrench. The hammer is also at the cave. <coughs> Where does the blue key go? You already it, used it. It goes that, for. No. Bro, how do you not see that? You walk straight past it. Okay. Yep, hammer and torch. And so are I, right. Also, yes. all the candles that you collect will appear in this weird broken down shed. The third location is right here behind the tree where Sheepy spawns. Mason, you just gave me a heart attack, but okay. Alright, that's one wrench done. Yes. Uh, does anyone have orange key? Or unlock orange key? Nope, I have not picked up any. Well, you don't need that for the torch. What the? Uh, um... Uh, kid. Kid, kid. I'm not gonna ask. Yeah. What happened? I have I have orange key. I have orange key. Uh, right now we're just doing a little glitch that pros do, which is you can actually just hack the thingy behind here, just jumping not, it. It's not easy to do that. It's not easy, but it's possible. If you have the right animation, I think orange key. Kaden, did you see me by the way? Yeah. Red key. Uh, wrench hey, is in the green. Um, key, where does yellow um, orange key go? Oh, you, you key, have orange key. Goes... So by the campfire, there's like this. Uh... Yep, by the campfire. Yeah, yeah but the torch. Can isn't torch in on me if you need a. Uh, uh, okay, Mason, unlock torch orange key. Hammer. Orange key's over here. Mason, gaming gamer. <laughs> where do you put the blue key? I have it. All right, so the the fourth location for the candles is all the way back here by this tent. You can just simply walk right through the tent, and, and it's right there. And the final candle location requires the hammer because it's in the cave. Does anyone unlock the cave? Uh, the, the uh, hammer is right next to the it, cave. I have unlocked it, but come to me. Okay. I have a blue key thing unlocked. Right, can you just move sheepy like that way? Yep. Okay, okay. 
The fifth candle is right here, snug in the corner. Now you want to grab Let's the get, torch. Now the next step is to grab the torch because this is pretty vital to this whole... It, it's, it's, I don't know, it's more of a... Uh, what are those called? Rituals. Rituals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all the all the candles are where Sleepy spawns. Yep. It is a ritual actually because you're bringing your Mr. Sleepy from the dead. So you would light up your torch, but do not go to the cave yet. I repeat, do not go to the cave and do that ice cube. Come here, Sleepy. So now, yeah, where, where I mentioned earlier, all the candles end up right here, and you just simply just light them all up them. as if this is a ritual. Because it is one. Yeah, click on them. You click them, but do not hold out the torch because for some reason it doesn't work. So now back up, back up, back up. But don't die to doggy, whatever his name is. Now Mr. Stitchy spawns. As you can see, he is terrifying as heck. And now what you got to do is just somehow get him to chase you. Hello? Stitchy. Hello? There you go. Oh my god, he's so creepy. Alright, and just get him to follow you into the cave. More successful than I thought. Oh. Ugh. Someone and you don't want. Uh, uh, She's following me. I'm bringing him to the cave. All right, bring him to the cave. Bring him to the cave. Bring him to the purple portal. There's like a purple thing. portal. Go behind the purple portal, so then Stitchy will walk into it. Oh, he's going for me now. Of course yeah. he is. You guys have to just switch off. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll demonstrate it then, because he wants to go for me now. Mason, you leave the cave now. I left. Okay. Oh, I see Stitchy. No, yeah. go, go. Okay, just follow me. Follow me. Just follow me. Just go to the cave. Go behind the portal. Just go, go. So as you can see, there is this pink orb inside the cave. And you just got to simply walk behind it to lure him into it by just doing this. And he should Guys, I got, I got sheepy glitched. Let's go. Well, there we go. He walked in. And now this should disappear. Yep. And now you just beat the map as normal by just, you know, unlocking this, getting the white key. Yep, now just do everything you would normally do. Yep, you also and when you beat, the And when you beat the map, that is how you get Mr. Stitchy. And, and you case. have to escape. And you have to beat the map. You have to escape it. Is John going to take your time off no, on this? We are not ready yet. We have a time limit. Okay, Mason, you get the hammer. I'll do the wrench. Okay. You just have to hammer the door. Hammer's by King. <gasps> oh, oh, fudge. Oh, my God. I almost started to doggy. That was really scary. Yeah, doggy feelings I gotta worry about. By the way, can Mr. Stitchy kill you? Yes, he yeah. can. Yeah. But he's gone. Right, let's just do this wrench. And the last I wrench. Am. And then Mason should unhammer the board. Or hammer down. <laughs> Take off the boards of the door. That's yeah, but hammer the board. <laughs> okay, did you see me yet? Yeah, I saw you over there. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, Doggy kid, yeah. doggy kid, All right. doggy. And now we just simply escape as normal. All right, corn. Man, corn though, yeah. you do have the 200 IQ. And now, if you just if you've already seen the cutscene, you can just skip. If you go to shop and to the uh, extra skins, Mr. Stitchy should appear for you, and you can just equip shop them and use extra. them all you want. Yeah, shop extra. Skins extra. All right. Oh, yeah. The next, the next and final special item we are going to show you is the Greystone Trap, which I showed you before. But you must go. This is a is not as complex as the other, as the Mr. Stitchy, but it's still pretty complex. So Everybody this one requires you to go, to, to, book go to book two. Book two. Mason, pick book two. So now when you go to book two, you're going to select. Oh, I'm an idiot because. Did you click book one? Yes, I did. He clicked book don't, two. Don't select book one. Don't pay attention to me. Okay. Now, now, now you can. Now they hit All right, me. so you click book two again, and now we will do chapter one. 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 Chapter, chapter one. Mason, have you read chapter one yet? Nope. Oh, All right, I will walk I you. I will walk you through uh, where each skeleton piece is located at, and you will also be required to do a rose, which is not that hidden, but it is fairly hidden. Again, you have to complete this map. And uh, I, it's, my it's, job is to distract Peggy. Yep, because you're good at it. Remember that well, one? That's when me and you played together. When Peggy chased me around the car for like eight minutes straight. Yep. And I couldn't find the flipping lock. <laughs> okay. Alright, you better be right 
Uh, and also, a uh, little Easter egg. In this cutscene, yeah, when this cut this turns around, that's Mr. Stitchy in the alleyway right there. Alright. So on okay. Yeah, on All right. So I will walk you through where each skill of bone location is, as my brother will uh, just you know help beat the map. <laughs> All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Where are you, Raz? I'm singing this. Track. All right. So the first skill of bone location is actually in that room that requires the green key, but we'll show you that in a sec if we ever get to it. I found Rash. Aiden, you're dumb. Remember, you already picked up the leg. That's the second. Never mind. I'm sorry, uh. <laughs> He's just dumb. Yeah, I'm just stupid. Kaden's big brainer right now. Hey, at least this is easier than getting flipping secret ending and true ending and. Alright, so the next skeleton location is literally in the. I died! Oh, snap. Mason, you're on distracting duty. Don't die like I did. Yes, sir. I was paying attention on Mason and what you guys were doing. Dang it. Don't uh, do that. I'm on distracting. Kane mm -hmm. actually did a key. Yep. Kane. Go All right. in the car. The third yeah. skeleton location is the rib cage, and it's in the orange key room. All right, I grabbed the... There's like a freezer, key. so you can like identify it as that. And the next skeleton location is right behind this pillar. Um, I, I don't know if it's a leg or an arm. I, I just, I don't know. Man. Pick it up. I'm going to see how Mason's done. All right, Mason's doing a good job. And right here, when he you want to keep in mind... Keep in mind with that code because that's how you beat the map and you need to beat the map for this. Okay, okay and did you just unlock the uh, green key room? I did not. Oh. Uh, if, if you're in the green key room, behind this washing machine is the next skeleton piece. Okay, for this next one. So the yellow key safe yellow gives key. you the school screwdriver, and in that screwdriver, which we will show you momentarily, is the last uh, piece of the skeleton, which is the head, which is just a piggy head. Uh. Mason, yeah, just stay behind that car. Just keep doing what you're doing. I'm not that bad at it. I'm toxic, bro. Yeah, all right. All right, okay. and the final piece is literally that piggy head, which is in the room that requires the screwdriver. Okay, and put uh, the six in the middle. All right, yeah. now we just got the code, and now we are in here. But and remember, that is how you beat the map. We need the rose. We, we do need, need the, rose. the rose. And I will show you where that rose is located. I'm pretty sure I have the mop in my inventory. All right, uh, where my brother is right here, the rose is just hidden in this little plant box right here. And that should be it. that should be about it. You must click it, by the way. And when you go, the final step to this is in this back alley over here in this corner. There's like there's the skeleton you just built, just sitting there <gasps> moaning, and just give him that rose, and you'll just see him sink into the ground. That means you completed the quest, and now the final thing to do is just to beat the map. So Mason, watch your cutscene because we haven't beat this. Yay! Okay. And now we just and now we beat the the bleh. now we beat the map. So now we have the tombstone trap. But you already uh, saw the cutscene, so yeah. you can just skip it. Okay. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that's how you get both items. I hope you enjoyed. Wait, show them. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed these over. Again, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and just for a special reminder, don't forget to join the Dexter Fans for Life group on Roblox. That is, if you have Roblox. And also, don't forget about the special Halloween edition Dexter merchandise that releases on the day before and of Halloween. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell.